So we've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So make a right triangle with one angle being 30, another one being 60. So there's the 30, 60, 90, and it says the hypotenuse has a length of 12. Well, the hypotenuse is across from the 90 degree angle. It's also the longest side is 12. And now we need to solve for the two other sides, also called legs. So we're going to be using the 30, 60, 90 theorem, which says that if you have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, then the biggest side is a 2. The side across from 30 degrees is the smallest. That's going to be half as much. And then across from 60 is the square root of 3. So I didn't draw it to scale, but this is basically saying from this triangle to this triangle, this one's six times bigger. So then that means that this side is going to be six times bigger. So it's going to be a one times six. And this one will be six times the square root of three. Well, if it's not that easy to see, sometimes what you can do is set up proportions. So compare the hypotenuse to the hypotenuse, and then compare the side that's across from 60 to the side that's across from 60. And so we'd have 12 compared to 2 is the same as x compared to square root of 3. And then we've got a 6, and then multiply both sides by radical 3. So there's that side. And then for y, it would look like, again, compare two numerical sides. So 12 compared to 2 is the same as y compared to 1. And then y is equal to a 6.